Hi guys, it's Julie from Just Beauty by Julie. And welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a look using this eyeshadow palette right here, which is the Elf Electric Mood Palette by Tiana Major 9. I've, I filmed this video the other day. I didn't like the way it came out, so I'm gonna try it again. But I actually like the palette and I want, I want to use it. Today I'm trying this new primer, the Milani No Pore Zone. It says it's a mattifying primer and it has lily and bamboo extracts. So hopefully it smooths out these pores. It says it's a ultra pore minimizing, blurring and oil controlling primer. It blurs imperfections on all skin tones, extends makeup wear. It's lightweight, it has a silky texture, a matte finish, and it's enhanced with lily and bamboo extracts. Should, I guess, be good for oily skin, keeping it matte. So, ooh, I'm gonna put a little extra primer on my cheek area, cause that's where I have a lot of texture, and hopefully it will blur it out and fill in those holes so I can have a, a smooth canvas. Yeah, when I did this video the other day, I had filmed it doing my eyes first, and um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like it at all. It didn't, it didn't feel right. It looked okay, but it just, it wasn't my best. So I'm gonna do this again. I think it was because I wasn't filming in my, my regular space. As you can see, my background is different. I'm visiting family in New York. I've been here for a couple of weeks and I've been wanting to film. I left some of the stuff that I needed home so I had to order it from Amazon. It came in piece by piece. Now it's here, so hopefully this video comes out as like it. I'm going to drink some of this lemon, ju lemon juice, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and water. My throat is feeling a little scratchy. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna set my primer. This weather is changing already. I can't believe like the fall is gonna be here before you know it. I love the, the summer. Like, I'm gonna miss it. But at least down where I live at, it stays warmer. A little bit longer. So we have some 90 degree days in um, October. Or sometimes in November. Now, I'm filming this video. This is the Friday before Labor Day weekend. And what I really like about this weekend is the sales. The makeup sales. When I was younger, I didn't even know that makeup went on sale. I never knew. Um, it would be wonderful to get on some PR list where I don't have to spend all of this money that I'm spending on makeup. But they have some really good sales going on. I already started my shopping. Today I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour in the color 530. If I had to choose a favorite drugstore foundation, it's definitely this one. When I'm doing my foundation, if I have to choose between a lighter and a dark shade, I definitely prefer to go darker because once you put your concealer on, it lightens up everything. Yeah. This foundation has like a, a smell kind of perfumey but like you don't really think about it and it gives excellent coverage it, it lasts a long time it looks beautiful on the skin i've been trying to get my hands on the maybelline the new 30 hour i purchased one but it wasn't my color and i didn't like the way it looked it was so first of all it looked crazy because it was too light but second of all it was very drying on my nose i want to do like a comparison between that one and the 24 hour one because that one used to be like my go-to i really like that one that one looks nice and pictures like really nice in pictures so hopefully i find it i looked on amazon they didn't have it i'm the um i think 370 deep bronze that's the color that i like to i like to wear sometimes you can find it and sometimes you can't so i've been looking for it i've been to my state i've been to virginia i've been to new york i've been on amazon I haven't found it yet, so hopefully I'll we'll find it soon so I can get that video out. I'm gonna do one side, like a wear test, to see if it wears the same, looks the same, lasts the same. But I love the coverage on this one. It looks really good. The color match is good. The L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Um, This is the color 420 Cocoa. I'm gonna use this to conceal with. There's so much new makeup that's out that I wanna try. I ordered a lot of stuff, but it's taken forever for it to arrive. Sephora used to have like two days shipping when you were rouge. Nothing is two days anymore. Nothing is two days anymore. Now I might wanna lighten this up a little bit, just like a little bit. I really think I should've brought more brushes with me. And I have so many, I hate to order more. I might have to order, cause I'm gonna be here for a couple of more weeks. That looks good so far. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put any cream contour on. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way in the color Truffle. This is one of my favorite foundations. I like the original 
over the um, matte one, even though my skin is um, oily. That one shows up better on oily skin. Now, I do have a darker one. I think it's called Ganache. I didn't bring it with me, but this one will do. This one will contour good enough. I know you probably could hit a fan and trains because <laughs> I'm in New York and I'm sitting like I'm right by a train station a couple of blocks. But you know, the train is like super loud. A lot of people are contouring like down this way. I never go that far. Like I never take it down like that. I'm gonna try it and see how it comes out. I might as well. I never do that. I wonder if it's gonna give a different shape to my face. Guess we're gonna see. This brush is a Sedona lace brush. See, when I picked up these brushes to come, I didn't bring all my regular brushes that I use on a daily basis, just in case I ever forget them. Like, I want to still be able to do my makeup when I'm home. I think that looks good. I can't tell. I'm telling you, this light is so bright. And this sun, like, I really need to turn the light out. I think it looks good. Wow. Like, on this side, I think the light changed. Okay, so I love the way that blended out. It looks very nice, pretty seamless. I like it. Now I know you can see that light coming in from outside. So this is the 16 hour L Camel Concealer. I'm gonna use this just a little bit in here to give me a little brightness. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this out. Sometimes it's good to let it sit for a little while just so you could get like more color payoff because when you blend it out right away, it kinda goes away. Like it doesn't stick as much as if you let it sit. Like I let it sit for like two minutes. Now I'm blending it out. So you'll be able to see that it that is there. And sometimes, like, if you let it sit too long, see how this is giving me, like, a little problem blending it out? You could spray a little white setting spray on the area and wet it. But that kind of blended out good, so I didn't have to do that. Now, let's try these eyes. That's better, because you can get a little brightness under the eyes. Let me see. Oh, see, I couldn't really see with that light like that. This looks like it's lying on the side of my face. Okay, <laughs> that's better. That is better. Now, I'm going to set it. I said this in the video before. I feel like I'm repeating myself because I had to stop and start so many different times. I am looking for some other powders to try. This is the Sasha Buttercup Powder. I use this to set under my eyes. And I also use this Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Oh, it's called the um, Air Brush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This is the number three dark. I use the um, Pat McGrath one also. I didn't bring it with me. So, this is what I'm using. But I'll put this under my eyes to keep it from creasing. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you is I'm bad with patting out. I mean, not patting out. I'm good with patting out. I'm bad with tapping off the excess. I probably should, but a lot of times I don't. So, I put this in all of the areas that I um, put the concealer or the highlighter and um, around my nose. And, yeah. I have my trusty spoolie and my old faithful... Anastasia Brow Wiz <laughs> in deep dark. I told you guys plenty of times this Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use it in dark brown. I love it, but it breaks the spooly part. So you got to have one of these. I never tried that soap brow. I keep seeing like a lot of companies come out with this like brow kind of like jelly. I guess it's supposed to hold them in place. So I think that I will purchase one. I don't know which one and see if it does anything different because my brows are so jacked up. Like I don't get them done. I pluck them myself. I used to have really, really thick brows when I was younger. Like, Groucho Marks thick. And um, now, they grow, but they grow so wild that I just never let them fully come in. I just keep tweezing them. Every couple of days, I tweeze them. Has anybody been to the movies lately? I went for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I went to see the Aretha Franklin movie, and the theater was, like, empty. It was like three groups of people. It was wonderful. I felt like it was a private viewing. But I want to um, I want to go and see. I'm not even going to say the name because I'm sitting in front of a mirror. <laughs> so most of y'all could probably figure it out. I want to see it. I heard it's really excellent. It's, it's a scary movie that I don't mess around with. Out of all the other ones, I can watch them over and over again. That one, I don't mess with. I want to go see it. Like, I can't be a chicken all my life. <laughs> so I'm going to probably check it out. I don't know if I'm going to see it. Excuse me. <laughs> in the middle of thought, trying to get this brow together. I don't know if I'm going to see it before it comes out on demand. Or if I'm going to actually go to the theater and see it. Okay. So you can make your brows a little wild. Because by the time you finish, like, sharpening them up. And I'm going to go under. I even thought about getting a micro or blade. I think that's what it's called. I don't really like to do procedures like that. I don't want nothing that's, like, painful. Call me a chicken. I think I, I, think I probably am. But I might, I might try it. I'm going to see. I think that's a good brow. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean up under it with a little bit of concealer and bring it down because I'm gonna do an eye look with that palette I showed you. I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer that I used, the 16 hour camo concealer. Did I tell you guys the color? Deep olive. And I'm gonna just clean up my brows and bring it down as a, um, a base. I'm gonna pat this out with the brush that I use for the, to blend the concealer and stuff in. This shadow, I wanted it to show up. Okay, that looks good. It's getting hot in there, I gotta turn this fan on. Okay, I'm gonna put some powder under my eyes. I'm gonna use this Sasha Buttercup under my eyes. I'm gonna just put it there while I'm doing my shadow palette because I noticed that it's a lot of kickback. I should have blended it out a little bit, but it's all good. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this palette right here. It has a lot of pretty colors in it. This is the Elf Electric Mood Times Tiana Major 9. It says it's the Feeling Lucky 18-piece eyeshadow palette. Now, what I will tell you is the color payoff was pretty good. So I'm going to, if my brushes look a little dirty, on the same, same look, see that? I'm gonna start with this yellow color, because of course, by now you guys know that yellow is my favorite. Now, you can see it. Okay, so this is the um, Sedona Lace EB13 brush. It's a blending, blending brush. I didn't set this. Actually, let me set this down because I don't want it to crease. Let me set this down right now and put this all over the lid. This color right here is called Yellow Tie. You always got to set your, your base and I was about to forget it and then I would have been wondering why it was creasing. A lot of times when you see videos and people are doing their eyeshadow, people think that as soon as you touch it, it's gonna show up, but you gotta build it up. You gotta build it up. Now it's a little ashy, the color. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more, just cause I really wanna see it. I mean, it's there, you could see it. I love a good yellow shadow. Blending out shadows is a process. It does not happen in one or two swipes, in most cases, especially when you are a darker skinned person. It takes a minute for you to see a lot of different colors. And the yellow, it's not real, um, like a real prominent yellow. Like I don't, I see it. I mean, it's there. You gotta build it up for, you know, to however much pigmentation you wanna see. Now, a lot of different companies try yellows and they're not real successful in getting them with payoff. But this one, I see something. So I'm not going to write it off. I do see something. Okay, I'm gonna try this color right here which is called central line so I use this yellow and now I'm using this color right here called central line Let's see Let's see if you could see this one this is like a, um like a reddish brown I like that again you gotta tap into it a few times to get the color to show up now I think if I use like a base that was a white base, but sometimes that changes the color of the shadow. Like once you lay it down it, your eye just doesn't look right. Cause it's, it's so, unless you like covering it with the whole thing, it just sometimes gives you like a color that is not what you're looking for. So I like that this is sorta like my skin tone and it looks pretty. Like this is a nice full look. And I actually thought because of the brightness of these colors that it would be more like a summer palette but it's you can use it for both now I'm gonna buff this out with that yellow with that same brush I'm not gonna add no more color to it I just want to want it to blend in I might I might dip in there like two more times because <laughs> I need it to be I need it to show up it gives it kind of like a reddish purpley look I like that okay now for this eye I like um, oranges and like rust and yellows for the fall. Like, I love color, period. So when I put a fall look on, you gonna know it's a fall look. You know, you wanna try to stay up with the trends or whatever, but you know, for fall, I think of the color that the leaves turn in the fall. Brown, yellow, orange, red, and um, I like this. This is really, this is cute. Now I was thinking about doing that yellow on the lid. They have like a, a yellow, but maybe I'll tone it down a little bit. I could use that for another. I'll do that as a pop of color in my eye. I like this. Mmm, nice. Very, very nice, very nice. Let me buff this out with the yellow on this brush. I like it. Now, what other color? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna use this color right here, this latte color. Can you, yeah, that latte color, this one. I'm gonna, get, gonna use that paddle brushes. This is a medium angle shading brush from Sigma. It's like a little uh, miniature brush, but this is what I'm gonna use because I'm gonna pack this on the lid, this color right here. This is a pretty color. Oh, I like that. Okay. Mmm. I like that. Now, do we want a shimmer? Because we want to show off at least one of the shimmers on here. I'm not used to having that little mirror in my hand. I need a little more of this reddish color. I like that pink. Mm. Is that crumbling? Let me try it again. Oh, this has like a pink shift to it. Is it like taking it off? I know you can see those <laughs> pieces falling off, but I wonder if it comes out better if I use my finger. Yeah. But these nails are so long that I gotta use this brush to like really get it in there. But when you pat it on, <laughs> okay, so I love the color. It's like a moist but crumbly, a moist but crumbly shadow, if that makes sense. So now, when I tried the yellow color the other night, because remember I said I filmed this video before. Now, I don't know what's happening, but this is crumbling all in my face. Thank God that I put some powder under my eyes because this color is very crumbly. It's a pretty color, a nice foil. You want to blend that out. The color's pretty. I just don't like the way it um crumbles down. Like it, I don't like the way it crumbles down, but the color's pretty. And it's like a pinky yellow, but it don't shift like that. Well, one thing I could say is, I mean, it's not one of my favorite palettes, I can tell already, but I will use it again. I always like that blown out look under the eyes. Sometimes if you blow it out too much, it makes you look like a raccoon. This is the um, LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner. I just want to give it like a little bit on the outside. Let me buff it out a little bit. The Epic NYX. Professional makeup epic liner epic ink liner. I use this one all the time. I'm gonna try to do like a little wing That's pretty now. Let me try this out. This is always the problem I Because I'm a right-handed person and that's probably the reason why most people don't show you both eyes because it's a process to get That second eye right. Okay now. I'm gonna put some bottom mascara on a yellow pop of color in my um this color is called God's Grill. I'm gonna put that in my inner tear duct. I like that, that's pretty. Put my contour on, my Sleek Cosmetics contour. This is the darkest one. It's in the color dark. I love this contour. It's been my go-to contour forever. I have another one that I use too, by um, Becca. I'm gonna use this bronzer right here by Anastasia. It's an old one. I um, just picked it back up, I haven't been using it but I'm gonna use it today it kind of blends out your contour a little bit and just gives you like a little a little sun-kissed rosiness to your skin I'm gonna contour my nose with this bronzer I'm gonna use this Sigma E25 blending brush come on nose contour I don't usually contour my nose like that only because I think my nose is perfect but when you're doing a full a full face of makeup you want everything to stick out you want your brows you want your contour on your nose you want your highlight you want everything to stick out i think i like these lashes they're a little different i like more of a cat eye this, this is a um elf cosmetics blush quad in dark it's been a minute like i had it for a while but i like the colors in it they're good for the fall i'm gonna use this these two dark ones I know y'all can hear my niece in the background. I love blush. <laughs> I do. I love blush. Makeup for Pro Sculpting Duo. It's been a minute since I used this. I like this gold. I think I'm gonna mix both colors together. Look at that. That's pretty. I love a nose highlight. It kind of like brings your face to life. You don't think so? I think so. It brings your face to life. A little bit on my chin. Um, a little bit on the cupid's bow. Okay, now. I'm gonna put some of this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I'm gonna just finish my whole face off with this. This is this is pretty. Give it a nice little glow. Cause I didn't set my makeup. I didn't I didn't set my makeup today. So bring everything together. I'm gonna spray my 
my face. Okay, I'm gonna use this MAC lip pencil in the color Heroin, which was one of my favorite colors. I'm not gonna overline it, but I'm gonna go take it out all the way to the rim of my lip because I want this purple to show. Okay. I'm gonna put like a nude on. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Anastasia Sepia. This this is like a nudie with a kind of like a purpley gray undertone. It's my lip chapped. What is that? I guess it's my lip. I don't think I don't think it's my lip. I think it's this lip. This is like a pretty nudie, purpley, pretty lip. I like the heroin. I like the way it stands out. I'm gonna put a little bit more on at the bottom. Oh. Now I know that um, I always have a lip gloss handy and I have one now. I am going to use, this is the one called Stone. I like the way this lip gloss smells. It has like a coconutty kind of fragrance. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go throw some curls in my hair and I will be back to show you the finished look. Hi guys, I'm back. And I hope that you guys like this look. Um, I threw a few curls in my hair. I want to come back and give you guys my opinion on this palette. Um, this palette cost me $17. I purchased it at Target. And uh, it's the Elf Electric Mood times Tatiana Major 9. Overall, I like the palette. Other than the fact that it was, it was a little powdery. The colors, when you put them in a the brush, was a lot of kickback in the pan. There was a lot of color payoff for the most part. The yellow, you couldn't really see. Like I tried to build it up like seven different times and I think you could see a little bit but it's not like super super pigmented but it was decent for the price. I want to give you a example of what the swatches look like on my arm. They never look the same on your eyes. The shimmers are very very pigmented. Now they look better when you swatch them than when they go on. Some of them were a little crumbly and I think it's like a different formula but I like them for the most part. Let me see what it says. It says feeling lucky you roll the dice with an eyeshadow palette full of endless possibilities. Buttery smooth mattes, rich shimmers, and glittery shifts create a playground to bring your electric mood to life okay so that's what it was the glittery shifts were the ones that was a little crumbly they had more of a like a thicker kind of consistency but I still like them like if you work with it it goes on really nice this pretty pink that I use I mean I, I like it I think it came out very very nice I would definitely use the palette again I would definitely recommend the palette I also purchased the big mood mascara but you really can't see what it does i will try it in another video i tried it last night when i filmed another video that i didn't really care for but it, it actually worked pretty nice it was almost as good as my four dollar lash princess falsies that i like but it was good so yes i would recommend it i would give it on a scale of one to ten maybe like a six and a half love the color story um it's got warm tones, it's got some cool tones. I could see me doing a nice full eye look with this. You know, you could actually say that this is full, you know, with the golds and the oranges and the reds. I like it. I definitely would recommend it to you guys. Uh, I wanted to give you an example of the swatches of the colors. These are the first two rows of the palette. <laughs> On my other arm, I have the last row of colors. So I'm going to go through the colors with you. This purple, where is it? This purple right here, is that crazy that I'm doing this? This purple right here is called Empress. And this blue one is called Winter. This peachy shift is called Shy, which is the one I have on my eyes. Then there's the yellow, which is called Yellow Tie. We have Sweeties, which is this color right here. That's a pretty color also. This one right here was hard to like get to swatch. I don't even know if you can see it that good. But that one is called Crimson, Crimson Shim. Then you have Latte, which I have on my eyes also. That's Latte. Then you have Braided, which is this color. Then you have this brown, browning. Then you have this one, which I also have this on my eyes. This one is Central Line. I really like that like orangey red kind of color. Then you have the Summer Fruit, which is this kind of purpley tone to me, like, and a black. The black was pretty pigmented. Um, I actually used it on my liner to set it. I like it. Um, anyway, I'm going to start with this blue color, which is called Turquoise Shift. Then you have Pink Shift. Then you have Peach Champagne, which is a beautiful color. And you have the God's Grills, which is in my inner tear duct. You have this color right here, which is called Pound Coin. 
and you have this one called Your Bright. That one wasn't really that pigmented either, but for the most part, I loved it. I think it was worth the $17. I like what Tatiana Major did with this palette. I like the palette. It was nice. And hopefully one day I will be able to do a full face of e.l.f. products for you. Because I have a lot of them. I just have to gather them because I'm traveling now. So if it took me a little bit of time to get back to you guys with another video, it's because I was um, traveling. I left half of my equipment that I thought I packed home. I had to order new stuff. Then I had to find a spot to film in. Hopefully you guys like this video and you stayed until the end. If you did, please like comment and subscribe thank you for watching oh i'm gonna have all the products that i use listed in the description box um just in case you guys want to know anything that i that i use on my face on my lips the eyes you know was all this palette i think it's very very pretty i like the look okay <laughs>